Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I got on my weekly grocery order. So we just got back from camp and I needed to do another grocery order because the first order that I did was mainly to get through the first week of the month. So now I need groceries and stuff for this week. So I wanna share that with you guys. I have a couple meals planned for this week. I also have people coming over this weekend, so I needed to have extra food. I also have family coming over this Sunday, so I need to have extra food and stuff ready for that. So I have, you know, our fruits, our vegetables, I have some main dishes and then snack ideas for the rest of the week. I do this a couple more times this month, only because for right now, this is working for us. So it was nice for me to just sit on yesterday and kind of pick out what I needed for this week. So I ended up doing a Walmart pickup order. So the nice thing with doing Walmart pickup orders, if you put your order in the night before, you're able to add things to that order even if you put it through. So um, this morning I ended up adding two more things to my order and as long as it's like a certain time before your order has to be picked up, you can add things to your um, regular order. So that's what I did. I had to get some sausage and stuff like that. So I'm going to share all of that with you right now. Um, if you guys have any questions on doing the Walmart pickup order, just let me know in the comments down below. All right. So I'm going to start over on this side first. So my granddaughter's birthday is coming up. I have to make the cupcakes. I'm going to be making Grinch cupcakes. I'll leave a picture up above and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, but I ended up getting a bunch of frosting for that. So I needed some white frosting. So I have four containers of white frosting. I needed red. So I got four things of red. And then I also needed, um, oh, they messed up, I think. So I was supposed to get green somewhere in here and I got this Funfetti. I didn't, I don't need the Funfetti. So I need to probably either bring this back and get green or I need to color this green. So I gotta think of what I'm gonna do now. So I was supposed to have white, red, and green um, for this order, but we'll get that worked out. I have one box of cake mix. I'm gonna be coloring that green. And then also for the cupcake holders, I got green. All they had is green and white. So we'll probably be using the green and um, they're just little white polka dots. So I'll be using that. I have two things of vanilla pudding. I'm gonna be making this for some kind of fruit dish. So you take the package and you make it like normal pudding and then you add the whipped cream to it and you mix that together with your fruit. So that's what we're gonna be making maybe sometime this week. Um, I got a package of roasted red pepper hummus. I have two things of olives. We're gonna be making taco dip this week. I have a thing of mustard because we're gonna be making hot dogs this week. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things of Sloppy Joe mix. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried the Great Value Sloppy Joe sauce. Um, we usually make ours with packets and they haven't been carrying them on the Walmart pickup order. So I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna be making Sloppy Joes and cornbread waffles this weekend. I also have one, two, three, four things of hot dogs for this week. And then also I have one, two, three, four, five, six things of hamburger. We're gonna be making with this with the Sloppy Joes. I'm gonna be making a meal this week with chicken. I also have some broccoli and stuff. We'll probably side it with. And then over here, I have some cauliflower hash browns. I'm gonna give that a try. This is mainly for me. And for our packets, I found this Rancho Taco, so I'm not sure how this tastes. We're gonna give that a try. I have some chicken gravy. We're probably gonna be making potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy, maybe with that chicken. And then also I needed some taco packs. So one, two, three, four, five things of taco packs. I have a thing of granola bars. I have salsa for um, taco dip and then our nacho cheese dip for this week. Thing of paper plates. Boxes of this honey cornbread. I usually just get the small little boxes um, for cornbread. I don't remember the name, but I usually get that. But I saw, th saw this on there and I thought maybe this would be good. 
All right, I have some pretzels for the hummus. I have a package of Doritos for this week and weekend. Another bag of Doritos. Two packs of the um, bite size. I, we've been liking the great value because they're a lot cheaper. And then also, um, we're gonna be having that with the taco dip. All right, and then I have two bags of potato chips and that's gonna be for that Sloppy Joe's that day. We got a bag of meatballs. I'll probably side that with some noodles and um, maybe that fruit dish. And then also I have some grilled chicken breast strips. I have two bags of them. I went on Pinterest and I found this one post on different things that you can make with these. I think we're gonna either do maybe like chicken wraps or something like that with this or um, fry it up and cook it with some rice. And then I got these air fried um, chicken breast strips. I'm just gonna try them out and see if the kids like them. I have two packs of the chicken patties. We like them on sandwiches. And then for bread and um, sandwiches this week, I have a thing of these soft subs. So we'll have some sandwiches with that. I also have some hamburger buns right there. I have another thing of them soft sub sandwich buns. And then for the patties, I have this, and then maybe even with the Sloppy Joes, and then more hot dog buns for when we have hot dogs this week. So we have that. And then also for the animal, I got this little thing. It is, um, it's broken, but that's okay. We'll just put that in there. It's just like a little treat for them. And then I needed to get um, Hudson Sturable some bedding. And then I have four things of grape juice. This we add to our kombucha cream for our taco dip, cream cheese taco dip, jalapeno um, Tabasco sauce, the green sauce. We like that on top of our eggs and stuff. And then a big thing, a Nutella. I have two things of Cool Whip that I'll be using for that fruit thing. And then one onion for maybe sub sandwiches and then uh, tomato for the taco dip. And then two uh, cantaloupes. I have a package of these little um, cuties. I have four things of broccoli. We'll steam that up sometime this week and then also maybe put it you know, off to the side or whatever for a lunch. And then um, cauliflower. Egg of grapes. I know people question if Walmart pickup order has any bad issues with getting fruit and I usually do not. A thing of um, green onions for the taco dip. I have a thing of the baby arugula and baby spinach. This is gonna be partially for uh, the rabbits. And then I have two things of the romaine lettuce. We're gonna be using this for, I think, one of the sandwiches one day and then also the rabbits and then maybe for a salad. I have a thing of baby spinach. So a lot of times when we have a lot of fruits, we have animals that we could um, use this with. So we just like put a little snack together for them. And then also a thing of blueberries. I have four things of strawberries. Be adding this to that fruit dish. So I might be using the strawberries, the grapes. I have some pineapple in a can and then um, possibly the grapes and stuff for that fruit dish. I have a uh, Jack's pepperoni or two Jack's pepperoni. I have a home run and I have a red baron cheese. That's gonna be for Wednesday night pizza night. And then I have two things of eggs. So 36 all together and I'll just put that in our Instant Pot and cook them up for hard boiled eggs and sandwiches. Um, we get a lot of eggs here, but um, sometimes we either sell them or we use them up. So I don't have any extra to do hard boiled eggs. So I got, a you know, the two packs of this. And then we've been trying to order this on the Walmart app and they keep substituting it for something else. But this brand is amazing. And if you guys like spicy sausage, this is spicy. It's not meant to be. It says seasoned mild and it's not. So it's pretty good though if you guys like sausage. Um, and then also I have my paper towel right here. Four boxes of the Jimmy Dean bacon, egg and cheese biscuits. We really like these. The only problem is, is there's eight of them in here. They're $10 a piece. So I spent $40 on all four of these boxes, which is kind of crazy. So we could also make our own and we've tried making our own and none of the kids usually like that. So this brand seems to be good. 
Um, I also have gotten the generic brand before and we really didn't even like the generic brand, which normally a generic brand doesn't really bother us, but for some reason this brand is pretty good. So we have that. And then I have bananas. I have this Black Forest ham. We just ate at my niece's house and she made us sub sandwiches. So I wanted to um, make some more of them. So Black Forest ham. And then I got some turkey breast. And then also the honey roasted turkey breast. And I have four things of bacon. We'll make that up this week sometime. And I think that's pretty much everything on today's order. Oh, nope. Okay. I have this also. This is a USB-C to USB cable. We don't have enough of these C port. We have ones that just like a C port here and a C port here, but we don't have a connected like the charger part to this. So I found this on the Walmart pickup for like six bucks. I might end up getting another one because we have two tablets that have that attachment. We have a lot of the ends, the chargers for this part, um, but we don't have the C part for the charging part. So we'll see if this is gonna charge some of our stuff. So I think that that is the last thing that I have um, to share with you guys. So hopefully you guys liked what I got today for groceries. Some of this stuff is gonna be tied in with what we already have. So I'm gonna be making rolls this week, making some kind of chicken, uh, meal this week, sandwiches this week, chicken patties. Breakfast is usually easy for us. A lot of times it's either cereal, waffles, eggs, and um, stuff like that. So breakfast is super easy for us. Um, it's mainly supper and lunch that we struggle with, with not being bored with the same thing over and over. So I got a couple different things that I normally wouldn't get, like the chicken breast strips, um, the grilled ones. I think we're just gonna try something new this week with that. The meatballs, adding that to a, a dish this week, which is gonna be good. And then um, for, uh, steaming up some of these vegetables this week, egg salad sandwiches, um, pizza, and I think that's pretty much it. So I have enough for this week for uh, meals. And then for the following week, I'll do another grocery haul probably the weekend i'll probably set everything up on the weekend and figure out what i need for the next week so i'll share with that with you guys when i get to that point but so far the weekly grocery hauls has been helping us now i haven't been able to keep to a certain budget i've been really trying to just keep it at 300 and it ends up going to like 400 which is kind of going over our budget and i don't really like that but um because I try to budget out, if we can do at least $300 a week for a month, that's pretty good for income wise that we would like to keep at. Um, but sometimes with the rising costs, and I keep repeating that and everybody does, um, it makes it kind of hard for us to get the things that we need. So I know a lot of people would question too, like, you know, well, don't buy all the extra processed stuff. Well, that's um, something that we also enjoy having in our house. We like chips and we like some of this stuff. So um, that's where some of the costs come in. I don't have any milk on this order and that's because Lauren already gets that kind of stuff throughout the week. And also with all the extra like um, frostings and all of that kind of stuff, sometimes with birthdays and different things, we have to tie in a lot of that with our grocery haul. So. All right, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.